Welcome to this video on Lumerical's product licensing. In this video, we will review the basics of Lumerical's licensing model. Lumerical provides floating licenses. With this model, any user can access the licenses as long as they are using a computer connected to the local network. The licenses are managed by a license manager application installed on one computer in the local network. Our software can be installed on all of the computers in the local network, if you like. As the software starts, it will check out a license from the license manager. If licenses are not available, the software will not start. By default, access to licenses is quite open. Any user using any computer in the local network can access the licenses. If necessary, additional restrictions can be applied, such as blocking particular users. As explained in the product components video, our products are composed of two main components, the graphical CAD application and the non-graphical simulation engine. Each CAD license allows one person on one computer to run the CAD application. One license also allows that user to open multiple instances of the CAD application on their computer. For example, so they can compare two simulation files at the same time. To determine the number of CAD licenses that you need, consider the number of users that will need to run the graphical CAD application at the same time. If you need two simultaneous users, then you will probably want to have two CAD licenses. Next, we have the engine component. Each engine license allows one simulation at a time to run. These licenses also support distributed parallelism. For example, you can run a simulation in parallel using multiple cores and multiple processors with a single license. To determine the number of engine licenses that you need, consider the number of simultaneous simulations that you want to run. Extra engines basically allow you to increase the job throughput using concurrent parallelism. In other words, running multiple jobs at the same time. There are two main use cases for extra engines. First, an office environment where you have a few spare workstations in the local network. In this case, you probably want one engine per workstation. The second case is when you have access to a large cluster at a remote site. In this case, simply consider the number of simultaneous jobs that you want to run. For more information on these use cases, see the extra engine videos. Also, when deciding how many extra engine licenses to purchase, remember that each full license includes an engine license. Finally, let's consider the following example. We have one user that wants to run the software on his laptop. He also has four extra workstations available for running more simulations. All computers are connected to the same local network. In this situation, he'll purchase one full license, which includes a CAD license and an engine license. Plus, he'll purchase four extra engine licenses. All of the licenses will be managed by a single license manager. The license manager can be installed on any computer in the local network. In this example, we'll imagine it being installed on one of the workstations. Next, the software, such as FTTD Solutions, will be installed on all of the computers. Typically, this user will run the CAD application on his desktop. When the CAD starts, it will communicate with the license manager for permission to run. Simulations can be run on any of the five computers. With five engine licenses, he'll be able to run up to five simultaneous simulations. For further information on Lumerical's product licensing, see the other videos in this series.